Bayonetta 3 release date has been announced along with a collector's edition and a physical copy of the original game and so much more, so let's jump into it. So yesterday on my Switch news video, I titled it originally as Bayonetta 3 Imminent because, you know, it got that mature rating. And then as soon as that video went up, one hour later, Nintendo went, here you go, here's all the information. I was like, ah. Anyway, so let's talk about Bayonetta 3 because, oh, I'm sorry, but Bayonetta has got a spell on me. <laughs> I love the Bayonetta games, I really, really do. And number three, oh, this is gonna be so cool. Oh, and if you wanna know, it's out October the 28th, so get that marked on your calendar. So they released a new trailer yesterday and, well, new enemies? So these are apparently not from Paradiso or Inferno. They are locals, so part human, says Rodin. So they're humunculi. Now I've watched enough anime to know what humunculi are, uh, but if you don't, well, now you know, right? They're kind of half people, half demon kind of conjured things. So there you go. Luca is back as well. We see him like really quickly in the trailer and then we see him a little bit more later on in the trailer. But it looks like Bayonetta can now wear her demon, which I, I think is called Madama Butterfly. Is it her that she's wearing as suits? Because you see in the trailer, Bayonetta like says, let's suit up or something like that. And then she conjures like an outfit and it's not just one. You see like one or two or maybe three in that trailer of her wearing like basically a demon to give her new like abilities and she's flying around. I'm pretty sure she flies around with butterfly wings. I should have rewatched the trailer before starting this video. <laughs> but if so, then it must be Madame Butterfly, you know, her like main demon. But that's amazing. So you've got a whole new like set of skills and like, um, what's it called? I can't even think. Mechanics, like a whole load of new mechanics and stuff coming into this game and I, I can't wait for that. But that's not the only thing either. So of course we've got the huge like Godzilla-like fighting battle thing between two big demons and you can control one of those big demons through Bayonetta and like fight. So it, to me it just looks like Godzilla, you know? They're like the size of skyscrapers. We already saw this in the previous trailers that had been announced, but you see a little bit more of it now. So that's another like whole new thing that's new to Bayonetta, which is freaking awesome. And also they tease us with the new demon slave ability as well, where Bayonetta can basically conjure in and out of battle demons to do what she wants with. So so you see a big old spider guy like in the uh, in the new trailer and she's like riding on him up a building and stuff. That's pretty cool. So we, we're getting so many more like features and mechanics in Bayonetta 3. It's blowing my mind a little bit. Oh, of course. And then we get the new playable character, Viola and her feline demon Cheshire. So this, they look, this looks amazing. I think they both look really cool. She's meant to be like a witch in training or whatever. She's young and she looks really punky, like her haircut and her outfits and stuff, like, I really dig it. Oh, and she's wielding a katana, like, how cool is that? And Cheshire, her demon, which is huge, by the way, looks exactly like the cat out of um, Alice in Wonderland. You know, the Mad Hatter's cat or whatever it is. Like, that. that is cool, I really like that. So I wonder, how the game's gonna play, like because Viola is a new playable character, is it gonna be like scenes? Do you know what I mean? Like two parallel stories maybe that you're playing through Viola's like campaign and then they meet and then maybe you swap to Bayonetta's campaign. I wonder how they're gonna like diverse into those two characters or whether you get to choose or if it just forces you like a linear path to say, okay, now you're doing Viola and then you're back to Bayonetta and then maybe later on the stories like align a little bit or if you just literally say, no, I'm gonna play as Viola or whatever. Like, I, I don't know, but the Bayonetta games are pretty linear. So it is like very story based and just, you know, you, you just go forward basically and just keep doing it. So I'd like to see what happens with this. So overall, I am super hyped by this new trailer. The new trailer is amazing. I absolutely love Bayonetta, like big love for Bayonetta. Uh, we played through all of Bayonetta 1 and 2 live on the channel. You can see it like in past streams, I think we've saved on the channel somewhere. So you can go watch those playthroughs if you haven't seen the games yet. But that's not all. And it's funny because yesterday in the Switch news video where I was talking about, come on, release more information about Bayonetta 3. I was like, where's the special edition? Well, there's gonna be a special edition and it's called the Trinity Mass 
Masquerade Edition. And basically you get the physical of Bayonetta 3, you get a 200 page art book, so a big old art book, and then you get three reversible sleeves, I think for the game case, but if not, like you can put them together and it makes like a panoramic like image. So that looks really cool. And that's not all either. <laughs> They're also releasing Bayonetta 1 as a physical on Switch. What? That's insane, because previously you'd only had, well, you could only buy it on the eShop, or if you were like me and bought Bayonetta 2 physically, you actually got a download code in the box for Bayonetta 1. So when you bought Bayonetta 2 physically, you actually also bought Bayonetta 1, which is what I did. So I've got it on the eShop for Bayonetta 1, and then I got Bayonetta 2 on the cartridge. But they're actually going back to Bayonetta 1 and really like releasing that as a physical on Switch, which is really cool. Like that like oh, fills me with so much confidence they've gone you know what these games are that good like yes we've already got bayonetta 2 physically on switch yes we're going to release bayonetta 3 but all the people that are like collecting physicals like me well they don't have bayonetta 1 you know well now it's going to be available so that is freaking amazing like i big props to whoever's made that happen whether that's nintendo or platinum games i guess it's both of them together like that is really cool like that that fills me with hope <laughs> for life you know or at least collectors like myself i probably won't buy it just because i've already got the game like digitally but i'd love to have it on the shelf so i have one two and three physically maybe i will maybe i will but overall, I am so hyped. I am so hyped about this game. I, I'm i gonna stop talking now <laughs> because I'm just gonna ramble for so long about how good this is gonna be. Like I'm so hyped for this game. Fingers crossed that it's everything we, we want it to be, right? And I'm sure it will be because the, the last two certainly did not disappoint. Now, before we do anything, go down there, like this video and subscribe and share it around or all that good stuff, you know, just show us some love. Yeah, like pretend I'm Bayonetta. Okay, that's a bit weird. Don't do that. But anyway, go check out this video, which I did yesterday, which is our Switch News, a weekly news series about the Nintendo and Nintendo Switch. Go and watch that because it's not just about Bayonetta. It's loads of other stuff as well. So go check that out. Just do it. Just do it. And subscribe.